Hello, my name is Robin Mitchell, and today we're here at Embedded World Nuremberg, and I'm joined by... Carmen Redondo. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. So, I think the first thing we want to talk about is the antennas that you've got on display here. And so, could you just give, a bit, bit, give us a bit of a background as to what's going on? Yes, absolutely. So, Kyocera IVX is an advanced electronic manufacturer, and we have different type of components. So, that's why uh, we see that the antenna place is every time more and more critical. You want to have the smaller antennas. So we have used the technology of Kyocera IVX manufacturing to make the smallest antennas in the market. They are only like one times half a millimeter size and very small clearance compared to any other uh, cheap antenna. So when I saw these um, boards, I thought the whole thing was the antenna? No. But the, you're saying it's yeah. literally just this, this tiny Exactly. What it's size the tiny is that? part. What it's like size? one millimeter times half a millimeter. Yeah. One millimeter by half a millimeter. millimeter. Yes. All right. That's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. How would you get it to be so small then? Well, it's using a technology that we use in Kyocera IBL based on film film. Right. And that's why we can make them as small as that. And so, and so what kind of uh, frequencies are we using these antennas at? So there are different type of antennas. So as you said, all this size is the valuation board. Yeah. So, uh, of course, you know, like it, this is the typical sizes that you use for any other type of ceramic antenna like LTCC. Uh, so we have based that on our existing ant antennas and then just replaced it for these new ones and we get the same performance. Mm -hmm. So here we are seeing an antenna for GNSS. For, so it covers all the bands, EPS, uh, Beidou, GLONASS, etc. And that's the microwave, isn't it, I think? Is that microwave, is that, uh, these bands? Yeah, for satellite, uh, yes, right. yes, yes, yeah. Right. And then we are having, this one is covering all the L bands, the L1, L2, L5, L6. Then in this side, we see the antenna that cover ultra wide band, uh, Wi-Fi, and also Bluetooth. And again, it's this tiny little part here at the top, yes, and it's not the whole part. thing. No, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It was quite funny, because we saw them up there, and, and I thought, these aren't very small. Go, oh, no, 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 it's just this tiny little thing <laughs> exactly. on the evaluation board. That's, exactly. That's, that's and so what kind of industries are you, are you using these, these parts in? So all these parts we are showing here, they are in the industrial one, or let's say like the common standard product. Yeah. Um, so it can be in any kind of uh, wearable, uh, any kind of IoT device. Uh, um, yeah, I think anything that you can use now for a small cheap antenna, we can use this one, which is even smaller. And I can tell you there are so many different type of applications where the customers are using <laughs> this kind of the most... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, so um, then we also have the automotive version. So these are, these antennas, they are also ACQ uh, certified. That's so right. they have the A series, we call it. And those antennas, that means that they can be for automotive. So for the key fob when you open, for any TCU inside and any kind of infotainment. So all these kind of applications. Mm -hmm. And I also hear that it's also got medical applications as well. Can yeah. you give us a bit of an idea of how that would work? For medical? So yeah. there is a lot of... Um, in medical, we have devices that are in the in the hospitals, for example, but there are also a lot of wearables. You know, now more right. and more, you are having devices where are connected to uh, to give uh, I don't know, like the wearable it, transmitter. So, so you see, if you've got a patient who might wander around a bit, you like an Apple Watch, you could you could have it into something like this. Exactly. So you can move around, but you can still send data back. Exactly. Brilliant. Brilliant. Do you also cover like the mobile bands as well, like uh, 5G, 4G, that kind of thing as well? Not in this type of cheap antennas right. because they are very narrow bandwidth. So for that, we have other type of antennas. We have FR4-based, and uh, we have flexible PCBs, and also LDS, which is a technology where we can uh, print directly the antenna on the plastic. Right. And so these very and so these ultra small antennas are primarily focused at high-end microwave kind of applications where you can make the antenna that small. Yeah. Sure. Brilliant. So we wanted to talk a bit about the cellular type of antennas and you've brought us an example here to compare to what we do these other types of antennas so could you just go ahead and describe what's going on here yeah so this is an example on an fr4 antenna that is placed uh, snt uh, in this case you know even the size for the cellular bands uh, is very important Still for the performance yeah. so this is why we are using a chipset here it's also our sp40 ec646 so we are able to have band switching and be able to cover more bands with this antenna so even this antenna is a small for for a cellular bands to have the good performance um, then sometimes you know when you can even shrink even farther these devices and that's where for example we can use technologies like lds so in this uh, device we have 
directly put put the antenna directly on the plastic with the laser. That's the antenna. Those are the antennas. So we have here a MBIOT antenna and a GPS antenna. So this is a dog tracker. So this is where you have it in your dog to see where, where it is. And of course, it will be very, very small. Maybe the GPS antenna could have been replaced on one of the chip antennas, but not the cellular one. So this is why uh, we place everything there. And uh, So you can utilize printing technologies to put the antenna on the case of a product? Yes. That's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And so how would you connect that antenna to your, to your circuit? So you have some uh, clips. Right. that you connect their SNT on the board and then you can just close it and you connect the, the antenna. So this is very popular in, uh, in IoT now. It has been in the market for several uh, years, you yeah. know, in, this, in the cell phone market. Uh, we have three factories or four maybe, one in, uh, in China, one in uh, Korea and two in Vietnam, where we have LDS technology. And now more and more is coming into uh, IoT devices because they are shrinking and you need to be able to meet the performance required. <laughs> so I suppose our final question to the viewers out there, if you're an engineer and you wanted to get into contact with your company about using these antennas, what's the best thing for them to do? Well, in our webpage, we have a lot of information and tools. So they are able to select what they are looking for and find the, the answer. We have a lot of reference design. So this is a reference design with uBlocks. It's an example of reference design. And if uh, you have information about LDS and if all that is not sufficient, uh, they will have content forms to contact us or they can send an email to antenna.info at kiosera.ibx.com. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to speak to us today. Thanks so much. Thank you.